So we have import uh, some services based on the Excel file that you give us. So if we click here on service, you will see uh, what we have import. And before you do anything on the service or create new service, you have to go to the management and you have to create activities. The first one that usually is uh, created is the ski school. So I can say ski school. And then I will say uh, snow sports school. Um, we usually uh, create only one activity for the ski school, even if you have ski, snowboard and everything, because some uh, instructors can make ski and snowboard. So if you want to see everything, uh, we recommend that you create only uh, the ski school. I am creating that for you in the production database. So now I say next and the activity is accessible from which time in the morning until which time uh, in the evening. So we could say uh, usually in, we, we can change it later if we, if we want, but we could say uh, 17 and um, you see I cannot put a gilacon, but it's not necessary. Um, this activity must appear in E for booking. We say next. Uh, booking is uh, just to say that uh, reservation is mandatory, so I will say mandatory here too. Um, what is the period of time that you wanted to, uh, to work on? Uh, usually in the ski resort it's uh, 60 minutes and a minimum number of participants is one. Um, and uh, you can use this one, but we will discuss that later. That is not very important now immediately. We say next. Uh, we have a maximum, but we will not say here what is the maximum. So we say zero. Uh, you should be able to create the, uh, the guest fee and the guest fee for junior uh, product. This product are not yet created now. So um, I will say done. And um, you can create space management, but you doesn't need to create them uh, because we use employees. You have not like in the tennis, the court one, court two and everything. So you can stop here uh, for uh, the, the ski school. I, s I will say yes. But you can also create here like uh, for if you wanted to manage the employees in the maintenance in the kitchen, you should create all the activities where you have some employees that are working specifically in one uh, place and then you can manage the uh, punch in punch out. But you will see that is mandatory that you have at least one um, activity that is created when we manage the uh, services. So the other one is uh, the session. In the session, you should create at least one session. I will do it for you now, but you, yeah, so that you can see the and change. Um, I will create the current session. We, cur we, we also uh, think is the best way to work with uh, the session. So the session will be uh, linked to uh, the product and services so that you can say, like a, a seasonal pass uh, is val valid from that day to that date and the current session will be uh, linked to the name current session will be linked to the service and product so the next year you have just to change the dates here and everything will work if you say season uh, 2020 2021 next year you create a new session you have to go through all the product and services to change the session so let us say, for example, that the start date this year will be on uh, 19 and uh, the end date will be, uh, let us say, April 30, I don't know. So for the lesson, the session starts, uh, again, I will send, say, December until uh, 30 April. Duration of a normal uh, course is 60 minutes. Uh, you start the registration on, we will say, December 1, because we are December 1. Registration uh, is authorized until April 31. 
uh, May 31, and uh, the premium uh, can register begin in November 20. So I also need for the season pass to say what is the maximum end date. So we will say here uh, that the maximum end date is uh, April 30. Uh, maximum duration in month will be, for example, six. And we can decide if you uh, want to begin the service date with the current date or with the session date. Usually that is uh, true for most of our customers. So I say save and I have now one session. So the first thing now you have to do is to uh, go over what we have created to see if everything is correct. So if I take that first, I double click what I need to go to do mainly is in the accounting. I have to click accounting and here I have to say for the center more bandy, what is the GL account and what is the description that will come automatically. So you should here uh, click on uh, this one and you should see the GL account that you have uh, that you need to create. Like I explained you before, um, in uh, the parameters. So when you create then, uh, when you sell uh, uh, this season pass, we will be able to export it correctly to the accounting system. So that is something that you have absolutely to create. Uh, but of course you have also to say, to say with which uh, tax group uh, that product is uh, linked. So the tax group uh, is important and the GL account is something uh, important also. Uh, then you have to look at the session and in the session uh, you can say this season pass give access to what currently I have ski school but you, so you should create a lift ticket. You could have tubing, you could have uh, uh, the magic carpet or you can create a couple of activities and here from the activities you can say for that season pass what it gives access that will work for the access control with ski data later you can give the duration and here you will have that session that we have just create and its current session so i can link it to the current session um, Currently, we are not working for, for example, uh, 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 Costco, so that is not necessary. Um, you can also create seasonal pass with access. Um, okay, I, I have to link it to an activity before and then I can give access control and I can give selling. Um, and also now here we have the age group. And you can define the age group in the parameters, but I didn't show you that before. But you can, you can, if you look in the parameters uh, in the, pre, the the previous video, you will see that you are able to create that. Then, what is really important is also the session. So, for a seasonal pass, number of session is zero, because it's unlimited usually. Uh, but if you wanted to say no, no, he has uh, ten, uh, he can go through uh, ten days. You should say ten. Uh, you have also to say that it's an electronic ticket because we will use ski data. Is it valid for one entry, so one run, or is it valid for one day? Usually it's for one day, but you can say it's valid for x days, and it's val you can also valid until. 4 p.m. for example, or you can say it's valid for 60 minutes, uh, 90 minutes. Um, so that is what you have to say. And you have also to define the usage. Uh, so here it should be um, uh, automatic and the session type should be a um, uh, ticket for the season pass uh, and you want to create a service. And later we will add also the card layout, but it's not very important currently. But that is really the, the main information that you have to, uh, uh, to set up uh, for the seasonal pass that you have created currently. So now I will say save and I will say close. And so this one has been 
uh, verified. Uh, yeah, but you should verify on your side that uh, I have done what I think is the best, but you have to verify the service, not uh, these two last one that are uh, just used for us. Um, so you have to manage the one that we have imported from the Excel files.